When the fellas get together and riot, which is what they did Sunday night on the streets of Philadelphia, in North Philadelphia, near Temple University, one of the most truly dark and dangerous chocolate neighborhoods in America, um, here's how the story uh, usually plays out. Day one, today, there's a story where lots of reporters get together and they, whatever they thought at first, the cops convinced them that it was just no matter how many people were on the street doing damage, attacking police cars, da-da-da, it was just a handful of people do, causing all the trouble, and it was a largely peaceful gathering. Second and third day, news starts to filter out, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, uh, YouTube. News starts to filter out, well, maybe it was a little more than that. Third and fourth day, what the hell was happening in our city Sunday night? They came into my store. They came into my front yard. They busted my house. They beat up my relative. What the hell's going on here? Fifth day. This is from the columnists and the community activists writing columns and making posts. Well, we did have some, you know, we did have some black people acting up out there the other night, but what are we going to do about the right white racism that caused it all? Let's check out the clips from this cookout. Then let's see what what uh, uh, what a cookout really means in Philadelphia. Chandler, well, crowd chaos in North Philadelphia, hundreds of rowdy people, some of them smashing police cars as officers frantically called for help. Now, calling this crowd control is a bit of an understatement. Police clashed with hundreds of young people in North Philadelphia overnight, and when they finally dispersed, they'd left behind a lot of damage. Action News reporter Catherine Scott is live at police headquarters with new details. Catherine, it is amazing to me that a number more people were not hurt, some in a serious way here. Tam, and according to the police commissioner, most people were pretty peaceful last night, but there were a handful of people who were jumping on police cars, uh, apparently while police were trying to uh, do crowd control in other spots, so they didn't physically see them or else they probably would have been some arrests there last night. Uh, but in the end, there were no injuries and so far, no additional reports of property damage. So, of course, it's still early. Uh, that could be assessed. But the police commissioner says it started as a large cookout in North Philadelphia. The news of the cookout hit Instagram, and then hundreds and hundreds of people showed up. Uh, they were blocking streets and intersections, and you could see police there in North Philadelphia last night. The initial call brought police to Jefferson and Sydenham, but this was a wide area. We learned that this uh, house party quickly spread into a flash mob thanks to Instagram. About a thousand people in the streets in North Philadelphia near Temple's campus, some of them throwing trash, some isolated reports of damage. Generally, they just woke up uh, much of that neighborhood just uh, before midnight yesterday. So police tell NBC10 about four of their cruisers were damaged as officers responded to this. The unruly group of young people began moving. Some of the crowd spotted jumping up and down on some of those police cars. Now, authorities tell NBC10 the large flash mob began gathering near Temple's campus uh, sometime before midnight yesterday. Plenty of 911 calls from neighbors that led to this large police response. We're told most of the damage is limited to windshields and side view mirrors. So if this story of a large riot at a cookout sounds familiar, yeah, it's a familiar story in Philadelphia, one that we covered in the summer of 2017. We could have covered last year, but, you know, it's the same, same story, different day. So anyway, let's go back and check out this story on a Philadelphia cookout, along with a few helpful hints as to how to interpret it, deconstruct it. Chaos erupts in Germantown. What started as a weekend barbecue at a rec center led to an aggressive encounter. With Philadelphia police officers, Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Nieves spoke with teens about how those tensions escalated. This video has surfaced on social media. Capturing a concerning moment in Philadelphia when a group of police officers were surrounded last night by roughly 400 teens. The teens were seen banging on cars and yelling at the cops. The cops were trying to stop our fun, stop us from having fun. Miles 
Nicholson is one of the teens who were out on East Chelton Avenue last night. Miles and his friends were actually the ones who had the idea to have the barbecue behind the Lonnie Young Recreation Center. It was meant to be a positive thing for the community. It's not nothing out here for us but get in trouble. It's not nothing out here for us but get in trouble. So we just trying to make something for everybody to come have fun, get together. Miles said he never thought the fun cookout would end with this encounter, but it did. The teens got upset when police told them they weren't allowed to be there because the barbecue was not sanctioned by the rec center. Thanks to the patients exercised by police, the situation was de-escalated and no one was hurt. One of the things that this administration and the previous administration has uh, stressed to the officers on the ground that oftentimes time is on your side. Sometimes patience is the answer. For Miles Nicholson and his friends, this has become a learning experience. Because in hindsight, they now see that things could have ended very differently. Is there anything you take forward from this? Just like, uh, actually just to be like a little more calm, like just enjoy ourselves but not like with the cops, like doing too much against the cops. And those teens that hosted the barbecue here say they have learned a few lessons after yesterday's incident. They want to have another barbecue and keep something positive going in the community, but this time they're going to try and do it with the city's help. They're going to reach out to try and get a permit. In Philadelphia, Alicia Nieves, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. And after yesterday's incident... Between the teenagers and Philadelphia police, Councilwoman Cindy Bass issued this statement saying, quote, I want to thank the 35th Police District for managing the situation appropriately. And recognizing that certain behaviors among young people do not have to result in a violent confrontation. It is clear that this situation highlights a serious need in the city of Philadelphia. One of the things I hear time and time again from our youth is that they do not have anything to do. especially in the summer. So, welcome to the first day of the story. All's well, nothing to worry about here. Just a few reporters exaggerating what's going on. Please, sir, I want some more. Just kids blowing off some steam. Oh. And at least we didn't make any black kids angry.